How did the collaboration between uh, Belgrade and Sweden start and why have you chosen Belgrade? Um, well, maybe it's a little bit more like Belgrade chose Sweden actually because, um, well, this at BFM is kind of a Swedish Serbian feminist festival. It's, it has to do, of course, with the fact that I'm from Sweden, but I live in Belgrade since many years back. And when, when we started uh, thinking about this idea with the feminist festival uh, in Belgrade, uh, Jelena Vishnich and me, uh, also our friend Mirjana Miroslavljevic, um, we uh, thought, why not take some advantage of the fact that I have good connections with the feminist scene in Sweden. Has the feminist scene changed over the years? I think this a little bit unclear political situation in Serbia has, in some way it has influenced the whole civil society in the way that uh, it became a little bit less clear maybe who uh, are we fighting against or and who are our friends and who are our allies and <laughs> who are our enemies. Uh, so in, in one way maybe it, I f maybe feel it's a little bit less focused maybe. Um, on the other hand, I mean, I, I think it's so cool that there are a lot of small uh, new initiatives popping, popping up. Uh, a lot of things is happening on, on social media. Uh, and that's kind of, I mean, it's not new, but I mean, it's, it's becoming more and more vibrant. I like the kind of this guerrilla way of working. Different art, uh, art initiatives, theatre and flash mobs and uh, these kind of things. I really like this Genesa um, Internet, this group that is informal, people who are acting mo almost only on internet and who are dealing with this everyday sexism. Of course we need, we must have these more sort of institutional organizations who are working in more with a more long-term strategies. I mean, I'm thinking now of those who are working against violence against women, for example. Uh, they cannot maybe be so impulsive and spontaneous. They need to work very, very concretely and, and with long-term perspective. But I think it's a good, with, good with this kind of um, mix. I think we need every, every kind of activism. Can you compare the situation regarding LGBT rights and human rights in general here and in Sweden? I think w what is necessary when you're, when you're working with feminism or, or with, with gender equalities uh, and with LGBT rights, I mean, it's time and maybe that you don't have other huge problems to, to worry about at the same time. I mean, in, to be able to get some popular support for these questions, it seems like it's necessary that, uh, that it's kind of political, stable situation. And Serbia hasn't had that for, I mean, for a long, long time. When it comes to feminism, I think that we, in the movement, uh, we need to do a better job in communicating like why feminism and uh, I, I think I think we even though there are good examples of the opposite I think we are still maybe a little bit talking amongst ourselves and maybe not being so patient with people who maybe not you know immediately get it or, or understand what we're talking about. I know for sure that in the Serbian societies there is uh, um, as much wish for equali equality, uh, women's rights, LGBT rights as, as there was in the Swedish society whenever, like before. So it's, it's, it's not about, I don't think it's about will or about different values or things like that actually. I think it's more about sort of getting the possibility to think about these things and getting acquainted to them and maybe ha being surrounded with examples of what it actually means. I don't know, now I'm thinking mostly about LGBT issues, for example. I think, you know, as soon as we have more people around us that we know uh, belong to the LGBT, LGBT population, then it also starts to get much, much less, whatever, scary or, or unknown. And then I think, people really have the capacity to, uh, to uh, accept. Even in a country like Sweden where feminism is actually a, a positive term and people like to call themselves feminists in general, I would say really it's 
most politicians call themselves feminists and it's kind of cool thing to be. I mean, yeah, you see in the artist society or wherever, everyone is a feminist. And even, e even though that's the case, the feminist party still didn't manage actually to join the, the parliament. So, uh, but, but I think uh, even as a really small and kind of marginal party, uh, it could play a role. I mean, now I'm thinking of this idea to start one in Serbia, uh, even if it wouldn't enter <laughs> any parliament uh, here, it could have a really good sort of uh, function as someone who is lifting certain issues and maybe showing how the other parties are lacking a gender perspective in their politics and, and so on. So why not? <laughs>